In the grim, dark future of humanity, there is only plant incest. Or at least, so they thought. Hello everyone, welcome back to Regrowth. I'm approaching the point where I'm almost done with what I can achieve with Agricraft alone. I only have a couple of Botania seeds left to get, and then I have some specialist things like I'm going to need to find a source of mycelium so I can start breeding up mushrooms. You can see that I have an incredible amount of seeds, and all of these seeds in this chest are maximized. And I'm probably actually going to have to upgrade this chest to hold more of it. And to upgrade that chest, I am going to need copper. And to get copper, as you remember, I need some essence from this quest. So up here on the surface, I have some orange flowers growing. All these are triple tens. They just need to be scanned. And over here, I have tons of weak essence that I've been harvesting from the essence crops over there. So we can start turning these in. Now that's just one piece of copper. For eight of them, we could get some copper ore. But for just, excuse me, for just these four of them, we could get our copper seeds. And those copper seeds, of course, will give us more copper essence. So we need four of them, and unfortunately, we kind of have to wait. Uh, thankfully, it's not real-time days that I have to wait, it's just Minecraft days, so I only have to wait like 10-20 minutes. In the meantime, though, I could look into making coal seeds, for which I will need tons of charcoal and black powder. I have black flowers maximized, I believe. And I could look into making iron essence with gray powder, which I believe I just maximized. And I will need to hunt red sand. I don't know if I have any red sand on hand. I have a stack of it. Is that enough? Uh, 16 of it. And I believe I'm only going to need three of those, actually. to the runic altar. Yes, I only need three of that and one essence of copper. So yes, I have enough red sand. I was hoping that I would have that as something to do while I waited. While waiting, I realized there was something else I could do while I was waiting. That's a very bad sentence. I can make dye seeds. Excuse me, I was looking at something else. Dye seeds are just a bunch of dye, some weak essence, and an essence seed. Dye seeds can be used to make well, essence of dye, but they can be used to make all the basic colors. Really, the only enticing thing is they can make ink sacks, so I don't have to go squid hunting when I get into Thomcraft. All right. Ah. Good. Two pieces of copper essence. Ah, ah, ah. And this, of course, I will take the weak essence. All right. Yes, master. I bow to your whim. I am a servant of Lord Chromaticos. Colors. So does this count as a building, or is it just kind of a bulky scaffolding? Either way, it's the first one we've built of it, I'm not counting our underground bunker. Yes, I was getting a little bit short on farming space, and these four plots in a square like this is a fairly good size because if I put a hopper hawk right here, it will cover this entire area of every crop. So we can pair a hopper hop with a thomcraft golem, and we can get automation fairly early. 
That being said, I don't think I'm just going to build a tower straight up. If nothing else, it's going to be difficult to make stairs and ladders all the way through an entire complex like that. But for right now, this little building scaffolding is a good start. Up here I have ender seeds. I'm just going to let them spread out. Oh, by the way, hold down shift and you get immediate crossbreed crops. No having to double click. Very convenient. Yes, I just have an access stairway. I thought it was a bit less unsightly than a ladder. Marble pillars. I've been experimenting with some different types of cobblestone just to give it a good flooring tile look. And that is what I was doing while waiting to do this. I now have four copper. Along with that, I will need four weak essence and an essence seed which I believe I have a spare one here. And I have my weak essence right here, and I will need a living rock. And this will be our first proper resource crop. Once I get these things bred up, and I start bringing in some copper, we can start building some proper infrastructure. Very exciting times. Actually, not sarcasm for once. Actually, exciting times. Oh, my new friend. What wonders we will work together. I don't even think I'm going to do this underground. I'm just going to do this right up here. These little 4x4s are perfect size for breeding. And I'm going to need one for each crop anyway. I mean, I don't think I'm going to automate all the crops. But I at least want a field of all of them so I can pick out things that I need. Now, the fastest way is still this crossbreeding. But if I wanted to completely automate this, well, not, not completely, but mostly automate this, I could set one in the corner here and then put breeding sticks all the way up to the other corner and then just go AFK, essentially. And I could come back and I could just reverse the field and repeat until I get triple tens. Because in easy mode of agricraft, crops will still gain in strength, even if they don't have a breeding partner. But that is really, 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 really slow. When you see people... And just, a, just a quick aside, let me show you something. A lot of people who crossbreed early game in, in regrowth, they do something like this. They put their first crop here, and then they put a line of crop sticks. Maybe they wiggle up and down, and they just make a long path. That will get you a triple ten. And you don't really have to work at it. It's not something you have to pay attention to, like the, the square that I do. But it is so, so slow. You're looking at something like an hour or two per crop. I think my total playtime on this pack so far um, is something like five or six hours total. And I have this many seeds maximized. There is a vast, vast difference in effectiveness. So yeah, the early game of regrowth is a big grind. But there's a right way to do it that really, really cuts down on it. I'll talk to you again in a little bit when I start to get the copper flowing. I will also probably be looking at getting us iron seeds or coal seeds.
Oh, excuse me, that was very rude of me. I forgot that I have a quest to turn in now. Getting copper seeds is, in fact, a quest. And as always, I am just going to pick the generic essence. Also, uh, just while I'm off camera, I am going to turn in all of these. In case you were wondering, the reward for most of these is just a pile of the thing that the seed is for. Yeah, I don't think there's any exceptions to that. Also, we could... Do I have the materials? No, I don't yet have the materials to make an egg. And I don't think I can... I Yeah, because this is going to require mana steel. And that is going to require iron. So I have a little bit further to go before I can start making some animals. Also, if I was making chickens, I would want iron anyway to make hoppers, just so I can make a coop of chickens out somewhere and occasionally come by and pick up eggs. I don't like having chickens running around. That's just, that's just my personal preference. I realize that some people go that way, but... Nah. Just not my thing. I decided to try out these Goldenrod Autumn saplings that I got from, I think, the Mutandus. And actually, that's a pretty color. Yeah. I think I might like these. Excuse me. Uh, yes, I do play Minecraft in a window. Well, it's not really that good as planks. I like the logs, though. Hmm. Does it chisel? No, it does not. That would be a little bit insane anyway, expecting chisel for the billion and a half trees from extra biomes. Hmm. These logs, though, are kind of deep umber color and the nice high-res texture. Yeah, I might use those as support somewhere. Just as another thing for those of you who haven't played Rebirth, Regrowth, excuse me, if you've ever tried to swim in the water in Regrowth, it's problematic. You almost instantly begin drowning. Fortunately, now we have. Yes, in this one. We have a quest to build ourselves a snorkel to help ourselves out. The snorkel is the first tier of equipment to help with underwater navigation, and it's fairly simple to build. It's just two of those glass lenses made of wood and glass, and then a couple of reeds. Oh yeah, I'm rocking this look. I'm dead sexy. With a snorkel equipped, water is much less of a problem. I think I get an even longer... Yeah, I get an even longer oxygen meter than vanilla with this on. And that is not the end of the quest. I need to find myself a pearl oyster, for which I'll get even more. To make those, I'm going to have to venture out to the ocean. So we get a little bit of a road trip. I think the ocean was this way. Nope, it was pretty much completely the opposite direction of that. So... The snorkel gives us a pretty good amount of breath, but it gives us no vision. Even just going down a little bit of a ways, I'm going to have trouble seeing. And I believe that these pearl oysters only spawn around on the bottom. So I'm probably going to have to very slowly search my... Or I could just find one right freaking here. Let me get a thing so I can refresh my air. 
Yeah. Now, pearl oysters, I believe, they're really hard to pick up just with your hand. But if you can... No, that didn't do the trick. I thought that if you drained out the water from a square around them, they would immediately pop off. But I guess instead, you have to get them by undermining. There, that did the trick. Pearl oyster get. Now can I get up to the surface before I start to drown? It's not a huge deal if I do. It's not instant death in this pack, but it doesn't matter because I reach the surface anyway, just as night starts to fall. Thankfully, we have our guidance pillars to point the way. And our home isn't that distant. Also, I've started growing some more trees up on one of the plateaus around the base. Creeper dodge. Just because I'm going to need a bunch of charcoal to get coal seeds. Safety. All right, that's all we needed. I get a ton of pearl oysters and sadly didn't unlock any more quests there, but I do get some quests in the life of, oh, that's just me finishing up the Batania. <laughs> what did it unlock? Did it unlock the encoding? Embraces? Maybe something in embraces. I don't keep really tabs on this one. I don't know. So, one advantage of doing all of that planting is that we now have all the ingredients for magical food. And I'm just going to have these here in their own little nook. And I'd better keep one of each of these because I'm going to need to program this. And I'm going to use super crafting frames to make food out of them. Yeah, remember the super crafting frames? They're actually still a thing. And this is probably the only other time I'm going to use them. So, be polite. They do good work. Two and three. Thankfully, this is shapeless. If this had a specific order, I'd probably never get it. So this makes us our magical food and I can just chuck all the rest of this in the box. And when I right click on it, neat. It kind of looks like just, well, it, it looks like bone meal, but yeah, I have no idea what that is, but it sure is tasty. Oh, joyous day. The waiting is finally over for our next seed. Just need to pestle up this gray powder and turn it in with some red sand and some essence. And I get my third iron essence, which I need to combine with some essence of copper, some weak essence, and some essence seeds. And I believe I'm out of just spare essence seeds, and I don't feel like breeding up another one. I am particularly happy to get iron coming in. Of course, it's in the organics chest. Because it will finally allow me to make clippers, it will finally allow me to make shears. It's kind of the point where things start taking off. Let's just leave all those in there. Hmm? Oh. 
Running low on weak essence. Better get some more. And iron seeds. Ah. It feels good to be making progress and not just watching plants. I mean, I'm still watching plants, but I'm actually making new ones and not creating abominable hillbillies. While waiting for the copper to happen, I saw that our next quest, our next element on the line, is for tin. And that is going to require us to find some slate. Now, slate is right here. It's freaking everywhere. But unfortunately, when we break it, it just gives us flint. And like hell are we going to get silk touch? Fortunately, we can just take four flint and we can recraft the slate from it. And I believe... There we go. I believe that I only need three of these. Yes, and an essence of iron. So in other words, I need to go and find three stacks of flint. That should keep me busy. Coal seeds. Activate. Coal is a useful resource to have, even before we have industry, because it can be used to feed these endo flames. It can also be refined further into coke once we get some coke ovens up and going. And that makes really, really wonderful fuel. So this is maybe not as important or as exciting as iron, but still a useful base of our industry. Also, I think I'm really close now. All I need to do is finish off tin. And I should have all the elements necessary to make our next tier of infusion stone. And I believe that this is the tier of infusion stone that I'm going to need to make infused shard seeds. Let me see here. It does make the elemental seeds at the very least, so that'll be useful for getting tons and tons of dirt. Gold, skeleton I already have, experience. No, what tier is infused shard? Ah, that's strong. That's that's the tier after that. So it'll still be a little while before we can start on Thomcraft. Still, progress is happening. Tin seeds. Done. I think that's all of our basics. All done. Of course, I'll need to get some actual tin essence in order to get the infusion stone. I've expanded our farms even more. Just getting some basic variation on the look of each little four squares. So, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do while I wait for this. Let's see if there's any quests that are convenient. No. Oh, that's going to require iron. Actually, I think I might have enough copper essence. I do. Ladies and gentlemen, a momentous occasion. Our very first ore. We have officially entered the iron, well, the metal age. It's not quite the Bronze Age. We don't have we don't have tin yet. Well, I just got the tin essence. We've sort of entered the Bronze Age, technically, kind of. 
Inspiring. We officially have iron. Life is so much better now. Not kidding, it's so much better now. Now that we have iron, which here I converted to mana steel just to make some shears, we can right click on flowers, and I believe it works on mystic flowers too, to get not the crushed die, but the flowers themselves. This is good because I needed these to make the witchcraft herbology book for a quest. Now this is, this is a quest that unlocks a quest elsewhere, but I'm not sure where. Uh, yes, also I can make this garden trowel and I can do many other things, I'm sure. Yes, not sure what that unlocked. Maybe it's something that I can't see yet. Either way. Those quests that unlock other quests elsewhere are something I always try and jump to. Also, I thought I would show off that mechanic for all of you. And we have yet another book to put in our binder. Finally, we've gathered all the ingredients necessary to make the next tier of stone. Also, I've made my first chest upgrade. I figure this Batania chest here is going to be pretty well overstuffed. As you can see, these infusion stones get pretty costly. Later on, I'm going to have to seriously beef up my mana distribution. Yeah, my mana distribution system. And I'm also going to have to make some sort of mana auto-gen. And these are all things I can finally start considering now that I'm getting some proper resources. Regular infusion stone. Giving us regular essence. What will this be used for? No, oh, that's the strong infusion stone. Gives us blaze seeds. Fire, the elemental seeds. Obsidian, not that useful in my opinion. Aluminum, gold, skeletons I already have, and XP. So these are a lot of kind of utility resources. Aluminium is really useful though. And that is what we're going to get into next time. Because I... I'm still wearing the snorkel. Screw it. I'm sexy and I know it. See you next time.